Hey, what's up guys? Dopesunner930 here. Hope you all are doing great. I'm excited to bring you this commentary. I wish I had more footage. This video is only six minutes long, so I'm going to try to smash my story in as quick as possible and hopefully get it done in the time frame that I have. So, if you guys didn't know, if you've been following me for a while, you probably know this, but if not, you won't know. Uh, basically, after working at my first job for a year, I quit my first job, and while I was going to school, I was working um, for myself. I worked for a year off Craigslist, strictly buying, repairing, modding, uh, mostly Xboxes, but a little bit of like PlayStations and computer stuff and things like that, but mostly Xboxes. And it was all done through Craigslist. Um, I went all over the map, like all over Southern California. I've driven as far as like an hour and a half to two hours out and, you know, I've done things close as well. Well, this story is kind of, it's crazy. It's like the nut nuttiest, scariest experience I've had on Craigslist personally, especially during this year at least. So, um, I'm going to change up the names, or not names, but I'm not going to say my buddy's name. I don't know if he wants his name in my video, but uh, essentially I have a buddy of mine I hadn't seen in a while, and I figured it was a perfect time to catch up with him. Um, I was going kind of out towards his house, so I asked him if, hey, I said, hey, I'm going to do a Craigslist deal. I'm just going to probably pick up a broken Xbox, you know, you, you down to roll with me. And he said, yeah, for sure. So, uh, I pick him up, we're headed out, it's late at night. I, well, it was kind of like sunset when we were first going, um, but essentially when I do Craigslist deals, I always try to do it in a public place and not late at night. And um, these guys said, hey, do you want to like come through? We have our, you know, it's at our apartment complex, yada yada. And it's in a city that's not known for being the best city. Like there's really rough parts and things like that. And you know, me, I, I never really had anything sketchy that I thought was sketchy. Um, so, you know, I didn't think anything of it. And I was like, yeah, sure. So we pull up this guy said they had an xbox that had like a broken disk drive or the disk drive wouldn't shut or something like that so um you know i get their address we drive out there pull up in this apartment complex um you know like i don't know how the hell we got in i think we followed a car in and parked or something like that um but you know i called the dudes up go into their apartment and first thing they open the door it's a little bit sketchy because these dudes are like like loked out cholos uh, which is nothing wrong with that like not being judgmental but they just they kind of had a weird uh, like uh, sketchy vibe about them so we walk into their place their place reeks like pot that's the first thing and there is just like weed everywhere and from what I remember it's been like four years now but I feel like the dude had like a ton of weed in a scale like they were drug dealers or something like that if you can call pot drug dealers but you know I was like oh okay whatever um, go over to the Xbox check it out and the Xbox doesn't even turn on it had nothing to do with the disk drive I don't know what the dude was talking about and I'm just like oh shit like I'm not gonna buy this off of them you know it doesn't even turn on I, I typically don't buy Xboxes if they don't turn on so I'm just trying to think of a way where I can tell them without pissing them off so I just kinda said hey dude like I don't think I can fix it I'm not gonna be able to buy it sorry you know and he was pretty cool and uh, as we were walking out I'm like alright dude I'm gonna get out of here like do you have the clicker to open the gate and he's like oh you parked in here and I, I said yeah why and he's like oh you're F like we we don't have the clicker why'd you park in here and I didn't really understood what he meant I was like oh, okay well we'll just wait for someone so me and my buddy go out to my car as we're walking out there there's a group of three or four dudes um, standing there and they are like drinking 40 ounces they've got like rags like bandanas on them and they're yelling like throwing up gang signs and I was just like holy shit I mean it was really scary cuz I didn't know where we were at we're locked in this apartment complex I had like four or five hundred on me in cash because I had been doing a lot of Craigslist deals that day and I'm like man I'm gonna get jacked or stabbed or something like that so me and my buddy are really freaking out um, we, we go into my car and just kind of Post up for a minute, think of a game plan. I'm like, oh man, we need to get the hell out of here, basically. Um, we were probably chilling in my car for like 10 to 15 minutes. This whole time, the guys are just kind of over there yelling and like, I don't know, just, I don't remember what the hell they were saying, but they were yelling and swearing and like throwing up gang signs and things like that. I'm just, just sitting there like, we need to get out of here, bro. Like, I don't know what we're going to do, but we need to figure it out and get out of here super quick. So we're waiting, no cars are coming in or out. Then finally I see this lady walking, I run out and I'm like, hey, is there any way you can let us out of here? We're stuck in here, we don't have the clicker, yada yada, you know, this and that. And um, the lady, I remember, she didn't say anything at all. She just pulled the clicker out of her pocket, clicked it, and the gate opened. I was like, oh, thank you so much, thank you so much. But the weird thing with this lady was, it's like, her face was all like scarred up, like it looked like she had been knifed in the face or something like that at one point in her life. And it was just like really scary, she didn't say anything at all. But she opened the gate, me and my buddy booked it out of there. I remember I floored it and on the way out. We just like hit this huge dip. I had no idea it was there and just scraped up the bottom of my Civic at the time. But I didn't care at all. I was just thankful that I had gotten out of there alive in one piece with my, you know, arms and legs intact, no loss of blood. And, um, Gosh, that was a learning lesson for me. I still did Craigslist deals for a while after that, you know, as my primary and only source of income. Um, however, I made sure that, again, 
either daytime. Um, I have control of the area. I didn't mess around with like apartment complexes. I stayed away from that city. <laughs> and, you know, mostly I made people meet me off my exit. And if they weren't willing to meet me off my exit, then I wasn't willing to do the Craigslist deal. But I mean, that was by far the most sketchy situation. I had other times where the people were kind of weird. Um, I got another one that kind of pissed me off that I'll talk about probably in another video. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was really quick. I got to have to do some like domination gameplay. So I have some more time to talk and I don't have to talk a million miles an hour. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this commentary. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you've ever had a Craigslist deal that was sketchy or funny or weird, let me know. I love to hear it. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video for more. I am going to be doing a ton of these commentaries, so I hope you enjoy them and look forward to future ones. As always, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in my next video. Dopes under 930, and I'm out. Peace, guys. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom of this video, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe for new great videos every single week, including monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you guys next time.